right, this is the weekly media availability with defensive coordinator and side linebackers coach Peter Sermon prior to the regular season finale Saturday at the Rose Bowl against UCLA. We'll go ahead and get questions started today with Jeff Ferrado from Cal Sports Report. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Uh, how, how are we doing? Good morning, Jeff. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm fine. Um, can you talk about uh, what you see in the UCLA run game? It seems like they've got that revved up pretty good. They do. I think uh, Chip does a great job. Coach Drevno, I've had a chance to work with him in the past, and they've both done a really good job of, of continuing that. Uh, I think Chip's always been uh, very innovative in how he runs the football formations, uh, kind of some unique looks that you'll see uh, this season. Once again, he's always uh, finding some new, new wrinkles on uh, how to run the ball. Uh, but the guys up front, you know, they replaced, uh, I believe, three guys up front. I think they're doing a nice job of, of – uh, getting on the same page now as the season's gone along and you've seen uh you know two effective running backs back there i think they're both over 700 yards so uh they're doing a nice job of complementing each other and and uh you know getting the rush yards up where they are they've been kind of up and down offensively in terms of scoring i mean he scored 38 against usc after scoring only seven against asu um has ethan garber solidified things a little bit at quarterback and is, is he sort of Part of the reason why they're maybe on the upswing? Well, I mean, from a defensive perspective, you know, any time that you're playing multiple quarterbacks for whatever reason, uh, experience, health, uh, you know, how the guys are playing, that, that's always going to uh, greatly impact uh, your output on offense. Uh, you know, the, the quarterback position is uh, the most important position, I think, in the, uh, uh, in the football area uh, during the season. I think the, the, the quarterback position is more important than the head coach during the season um, when it comes to the wins and the losses. So uh, I, I think as you find consistency in that position and, and you see a player start to elevate uh, and uh, continue to rise their level of play where they become uh, the full-time guy, I think, I think you'll see uh, some more consistency with that. Uh, and then, you know, sometimes there's, a, there's ups and downs in a college football season. Um, you know, Arizona State, I thought, played them very – uh, very aggressively, and I thought they did a nice job. And, and uh, you know, sometimes without uh, great leadership or, you know, guys that would, would have a lot of experience, you will see some ups and downs, uh, you know, based on the performance. So you shared this theory about the quarterback being more important than the coach with uh, Fernando and with, with Justin. If anybody thinks that the uh, head coach in the season is more important than the quarterback, then uh, I'd like to talk with them. Uh, the holistic approach, Jeff, the head coach is obviously vital. Uh, but when it comes to winning and losing on Saturday afternoons, uh, that is that is heavy, heavy, heavy quarterback. Understood. Thank you. All right, we'll go to Thomas Dunn from right for California. Uh, good morning, Peter. Uh, just to go off of what Jeff was talking about with the quarterbacks, uh, to what extent do you prepare for the other quarterbacks? Because UCLA has played a total of four quarterbacks here in the last month, and just to what extent do you prepare for each of them, knowing that Garbers might has been the stabilizer so far, but you know they still sprinkle the other guys. No, you bring up a good point. Uh, you know, as much as preparing for them, it's it's my responsibility to understand uh, you know what the strengths and weaknesses of all those uh, different players are. Uh, and knowing that you know the offensive staff and the head coach will call it accordingly to those those quarterback strengths and weaknesses, uh, I, I don't think uh, I could do an effective job of getting uh, four defensive plans ready for four different uh, quarterbacks. So what we try to do is is uh, identify uh, consistent themes that we see in the run in the pass game, consistent personnel groupings that we see in the run in the pass game, and and then tailor things as we get going through there. And, and then, uh, you know, come game day, if there's some alterations on who's playing uh, and if we can identify or feel a, a different style of play calling, then we'll make some adjustments then. Thank you. All right, Steve Croner from the SF Chronicle. Good morning. Good morning, Steve. Um, if I were to ask you to pick one or two guys on your defense who from September 2nd to November 21st have made the – greatest improvement, who would those one or two guys be? Yeah, uh, the first one, um, you know, the, the young kid, Kate Uluave, uh, he's come a long way. Uh, he's been an impactful player for us. Uh, and then, you know, I think Noel Williams is, uh, I think Noel played his best game uh, Saturday. Uh, he we, we matched him up on 13. Uh, he really took a, a lot of pride in, in uh, preparing in that situation. 
I think he ended up having two catches on him, uh, one at a hitch on a third and four, I believe, and then one uh, he got on top of a route in a situation on a fourth down. But I, but I thought he matched him well. Uh, he tackled effectively. Um, he off some off some uh, crack crack replace situation. So uh, I was proud to see him continue to battle in our conference to play corner. Uh, it's a that's a that's a lonely spot sometimes. You're playing against uh, very very uh, talented players, um, and you're going to be in a lot of uh, visible one-on-one -on -one situations. All right, thank you. All right, if you have any other questions for Coach Sermon, go ahead and put it in the queue now. And we'll go back to Jeff Ferrado. Yeah, what, what's your favorite uh, Thanksgiving meal, I'm wondering? Boy, I'm a, I'm a traditionalist, Jeff. Uh, you know, I'm going to go turkey gravy, uh, some homemade mashed potatoes from uh, Miss Lola at home, my wife. Um, we're going to do some, probably some of the generic cranberry. Like, I want the cranberry out of the can where you can still see the lines on the side uh, where you pop it open and you shake it and you hear it actually leave and it's a plunk on the, on the plate. Uh, so that's where I'm going to go. I'm going to go mashed potatoes, uh, some dressing, um, and then we'll go a little... Uh, Traditional kind of orange, mandarin orange salad my wife makes with some uh, small marshmallows and some walnuts. That was pretty good, Peter. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Thank you.